Election Day is now less than two weeks away. Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Sean Mooney. And I'm Monica Garcia. The Cochise County Board of Supervisors holding an emergency meeting today to discuss a letter from Secretary of State Katie Hobbs questioning their agenda. She sent the letter telling the board to reverse their decision after they voted Monday to do a hand count of all voting precincts. News for Tucson's Shelley Jackson joins us live from Cochise County with more on the board's next move. Shelley. Well, Sean, that letter from Katie Hobbs advised that a 100% hand count would be illegal. But if supervisors wanted to go through with a hand count audit, there were certain conditions to be met. Now, some of those conditions include only regular ballots cast on election day at election centers could be subject to the hand count. And only four contested races could be hand counted, selected by law, one federal, one legislative, and so forth. Today, the board decided to respond to Secretary Hobbs, telling her that they will not do a full hand count, instead opting for an expanded precinct hand count. There was a lot of confusion over what the board's response would be to Hobbs, with Secretary, or excuse me, Supervisor Judd, saying she wants to adhere to the conditions set out in the letter and stay within the law. Supervisor Crosby said he was willing to have no response at all. Boy, uh, it was very confusing uh, because the, the whole thing is very confusing and it's, it's the whole thing in my opinion is meant to inject chaos into the election and uh, that's one of the reasons that it is illegal. Well, I thought it was a good decision. I, I think that uh, Katie Hobbs is trying to pressure them with lawfare and legal threats and they're basically telling her, Katie, if you want to be part of the solution, come and help. If you want to threaten us, go hide in a bathroom someplace. Now, the supervisors decided to table the issue of hiring outside counsel after the PMA, or excuse me, the Cochise County uh, Attorney's Office said they were not able to represent them in this matter. When I was up here a couple of weeks ago, I spoke to the county recorder, and he told me that there hadn't been any issues with the elections here in Cochise County. Reporting live from Cochise County, Shelley Jackson, News 4 Tucson.